time, space, the universe. We live in an age hitherto undreamed of. For bourbon, craft spirits, albeit limited, are plentiful for the patient bourbon connoisseur. I present to you Sam Houston, 15 year, batch six. How do you play off Sam Houston? Hey everybody, I am Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield. Welcome to the Butcher's Block. Up on the block today, Sam Houston, 15 year, batch six. I apologize for the serious intro. How do you make a joke about Sam Houston 15? But it gets ridiculous from here on out. Don't you worry. What is this? It is a craft bourbon. Uh, it's a geek whiskey put out by Western Spirits Beverage Company in Bowling Green, Kentucky. They also do Bird Rock whiskey, Lexington whiskey, and Calumet, uh, which you may have heard from. I actually have a bottle of a Calumet 15 um, in the back here uh, for an upcoming review, but I was able to get my hands on this, more on that later. I really want to try this because I've heard great things about it from like ADHD whiskey, uh, bourbon junkies, a couple other folks. And to be honest, I wasn't able to find it anywhere for sale, so it may be kind of limited. The mash bill on this, 74% corn, 8% malted barley, and 18% uh, rye. It is non-chill filtered and 15 years old. Uh, this is named after Sam Houston, which was based on a TV show from 1982 to 1985 about a wealthy Texas oil man who runs a side business as a private investigator. Um, and he has a lawyer sidekick. Uh, it stars Lee Horsley and Pamela Hensley. In season three, uh, he had an uncle played by Buddy Ebsen. And, uh, oh, never mind. That's Matt Houston, not Sam Houston. Um, this is named after Sam Houston, who was a Democratic senator from Texas. He was a congressman, a governor, and a president of the Republic of Texas, which while Texas was an independent republic between 1836 and 1845, he was the president. So he was known as a brutally honest and man of principle. And this perfect premium, perfectly aged, well-crafted bourbon is offered in tribute to the life of Sam Houston, an honest and patriotic man. There's a little picture here, enlightened by patriotism and guided by wisdom. That's a cool backstory. I like the story. I like that it's named after him. This is a geek whiskey, so... A uh, little bit about else about it. This is aged in Bardstown, Kentucky with a number four barrel char, 103 proof, 51.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, MSRP on this is $129.99. It is not cheap and it's limited. So $129.99 MSRP. I paid nothing. I actually stole this from the set of Curiosity Public. So if you know their channel, I stole this from their set. That is not a joke. That is absolutely true. I stole this from their set, so I paid nothing. I hope that doesn't influence my tasting notes because free always does taste better. No BS. So with that, there's really not much else to say. Let's crack into this and give it a try. And obviously it's opened already because I believe the Curiosity Public guys had a uh, showdown with this bottle in it. So saves me the trouble, which it's always trouble for me. That's a, that's a big pour. They're going to get mad at that. They might get mad at that rather than me actually having the bottle. Cheers.
we're back. Here we go. Let's get into it. Four stars. First off, the nose, that aroma, that first impression, I gave a full star to. This was overwhelming. Okay? Here's what I got. I got butterscotch, toffee, caramel. Just right in my face like a Werther's original but that sweet butterscotch I think of the Smucker's butterscotch I had as a kid over ice cream that syrup it was delicious but so sugary sweet and and wonderful uh I got that in the aroma along with vanilla like a stone fruit like a peach and but a creaminess to an orange like a candied orange Creme brulee. I got a little bit of banana. The aroma was off the hook. I would give the aroma one and a half stars, but my scoring system doesn't work that way. So one star will work. We'll get to the other stars later. The primal. The taste, that first impression, that bite. I got bananas, foster, cinnamon, allspice. Really just the flavors that I got in the aroma, it didn't get everything of that butterscotch that I'm talking about, but it got close. I got vanilla, toffee, brown butter. I got some really bright fruit, like a blackberry, but uh, almost like a like a uh, an over uh, not yet ripe peach or a blackberry, like a tartness, but the, the that fruit bright fruit flavor, but with those spices and that creaminess, and it was really good. Now the tail. I gave that finished aftertaste, I gave a full star as well. And here's why. Everything sweet and creamy and fruity about that, that flavor profile really got almost savory, but like a sweet, savory uh, nuttiness to it towards the end. I wrote down, this is going to sound crazy, astute viewers, but I wrote down Parmesan crisp. Have you ever had Parmesan crisps based, baked on a silt hat in your oven where you take grated Parmesan cheese and you bake them down? Almost like that, where there's a nutty sweetness to it. I got a note of that. And it's still kind of with me. And I really, really like it. Uh, it lingers for a short while and then it goes. So you're going to want to drink more. It's a limited bottle, so don't get too overboard. But that's, that's where I went with that. The trimmings, I gave a half star to. It's limited. It's expensive. And uh, it's good, but it's going to be gone. And they, this is batch number six. They have five others. So good luck hunting those down, you know. And there, I'm sure there's someone out there who has all five, all six bottles. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of this versus those others. Because I looked online. I usually do a lot of shopping online to see, like, what prices go for and where I can find something. I also look on Instagram. And I haven't really looked on Reddit much, but... I try to find what people are selling bottles for or where I can find something. I can't find this at all. I can't find anything before batch six. So the other batches are well and good gone. So that's a half star. This is cool, but you're lucky if you got a bottle. And I'm lucky I got this bottle. Um, the wild card star, I gave a half star as well because this is cool, but it's limited. So both of those are cool things. And I hope this informs you, astute viewer, on my score because both of those are half stars, but that brings it up to four stars. So three star with halves bring it up to four because this is cool, but it's also limited and it's expensive. So are you going to get to try this? Maybe depending on where you're at. Uh, can you get a bottle? I don't know. I can't. I I can't buy one, but I was able to get one. So. I got four stars on this. I think it's cool. I'm really looking forward to trying that Calumet 15. I've heard good things about this and I was really curious because uh, I really wasn't able to find a bottle until, yeah, I have to figure out how to sneak this back onto the Curiosity Public set and uh, return it. Uh, but, you know, maybe until then, I'll have a little bit. So with that, take care. Tip those bartenders. Thanks for watching. Catch me on Instagram, Ben Richards BB. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Did you guys see this? Hmm? The Sam Houston was like sitting on the step over there. What? what? It was like not where it's supposed to be. I did not see it. Was it a ghost? Uh, dude, does that smell weird to you? Mmm. 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 Mmm.
smells like gin that somebody There's put like apple juice in. remnants of it of what's supposed to be in there. No, it smells it's like... It's been modified. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. It smells like Jim Beam and feet. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, this smells like somebody that likes Jim Beam took a shower. Or maybe they just like poured the bottle down their armpit back into like another vessel. Mm. This has like a taint. It's kind of like know? what I'd imagine what Hobbit feet smell like. Oh, yeah, it tastes like it too, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to try it. Yeah, it's pretty much what I described. Oh, they replaced this with Jim Beam. No, but it's like a mix of Jim Beam something. Ritual batch. 